Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful Christmas fringe earrings. I'm showing them step by step and I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them by yourself. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell, also please like, share and comment and in this way you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it. Check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorial and you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this project are five colors of 11 o seed beads, white, golden, red, turquoise and black. Here I'm also using earring findings in golden color. This is Nymon Island thread that is 0.3 mm or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 10 or 12. The smaller sizes are easier to work with. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. Now guys, I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay my friends, and I'm starting my work by picking up two of those beautiful red beads. And I'm going to slide those down. Here I'm going to leave a small tail that I will use to finish my work with later. It will be, let's say, not more than 5 inches or 10-12 centimeters. So I'm going through one of those red beads back in circle and I have this and when I pull I have them next to each other with the holes pointing in this direction as you may see. Then I go through this one one more time. Okay, this is what I have. Then I take another red bead go back through this red and through the newly added bead again. Okay, I have three in a row with holes pointing in this direction. I'm taking a fourth one, going backwards the same way and then through this bead. Then I'm going to add two white beads. And after that, I'm going to add four more red beads. Okay, and I have my first row ready. From now on, I'm going to continue with double brick stitch, but if you're not familiar with it, don't worry. Okay, I take four and I want to go here through the second thread bridge that I have on my way. You see, I have thread bridges through my beads and I'm going through the second one. I choose to go through the second one because my next row is shorter than this first row that I did. Then I go through the two beads that are closer to the center of my work. And then I want to reinforce by going through these previous two beads and then again through the beads that are closer to the center. Okay, now this is what I have. 
and only the first step that I add is with four beads and then I will add them two by two because it is a double brick stitch I add them two by two okay I go under the next thread bridge I pull and I go through these two beads again I continue with two white beads and go under the next thread bridge which is between the red and the white then I go again through these two white beads take two blacks go here and two whites and after that guys add three times two blacks Okay my friends and I have my second row ready. Now I will continue with single brick stitch and if you're not familiar don't worry again. I take two red beads and because my next row will be with less beads than the previous one I go under the second thread bridge and in this work guys I will always be going under the second thread bridge so you won't be confused about this. Okay then because I decrease and go under the second thread bridge my beads stretch and I want to make them stay nice and tight next to each other and that is why I reinforce. Then I take third red bead two whites in a row Okay, and here I'm adding my last red bead. And here guys, until the end, it's really easy. I just add red beads everywhere, no other color. And I decrease each row. So I go under the second thread bridge. I go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work and then through the previous bead and one more time like that reinforcing it reinforcing them this is what I do all the time and then I will continue showing you faster until this row
Okay guys, and I will continue this until the end. I won't show you every step because it, because it will be boring, but I'm doing the same thing basically, going under the second thread bridge as you may see, with two beads, only the first step is with two beads, then the steps are only with one bead, absolutely the same way that I showed you. And then I'm going to reinforce those beads. First I go through the one which is closer to the center, then I reinforce. And after that, I'm adding one by one beads until the end. And again, when I start a new row, I add two beads, go through the one which is closer and reinforce. And that's it. And when you have a row with three beads, I'll be back to tell you how to continue. Okay, guys, and here I have a row with three beads. Now, if you haven't done these rows, just pause on this frame and do this. And now I need a row with two beads. Okay, I'm exiting out of this bead. And I have two thread bridges here between these three beads. And again, I'm going through the second one of them, counting from where I'm exiting out of. So it is the same thing. And I go here like that. Then I'm taking my earring finding, going backwards through this bead, again here, and in this direction. And I'm going here. Okay, guys, now what I want to do is to make a knot. And I'm making my knot. Just like this. Now I will put my needle on this end. And I'll be back. Okay, and I have a needle here at this shorter end. And I will go through some beads in this direction. I'm going to make here a loop. And I'm going once or twice through the loop I've made. I'm pulling. Then I'm going through some beads in this direction. And I will cut this tail thread. Okay, guys. Now, what I want to do is go through this red bead here. And I want to start making my fringes. I will take a long sequence and I'll be back. Okay, guys. And now, this sequence from this turquoise bead until the end, I will be adding in every fringe. And here in the first step I have three red beads and after that I will be increasing only the red beads and this part will remain the same. So here in the first step what I add are three red beads plus this familiar sequence that I will be adding all the time and it consists of turquoise red three times six turquoise, white turquoise three times, six whites, golden white two times, three goldens and three red beads. Okay, this is the sequence that we're gonna be taking all the time. Now, what I do here is that I skip these three beads that are at the end and I go through some beads in this direction. And then I'm going to pull. Pull like this. Okay. This is what I have up to now. 
then I will go through all of the rest beads in this direction and try not to skip any beads because it won't look good and you will have to redo this part. Okay, and I'm going here in this direction. You could go through one or two beads, it's up to you. Sometimes it is impossible to, to go through more than one bead. Okay, but uh, what you have to do is to pre-stretch your thread. Because in this way you won't have gap here between this brick stitch part and the fringe part. And also pull tight. And then guys, I'm going here in the next bead. Okay, I will take my next long sequence and I'll be back to tell you what it is. Okay guys, and as I said, what I will be adding all the time is this sequence from the turquoise, but before that I will have different number of red beads. So in my first step I had 3 and here I have 6, so I increase with 3 beads this first part and then add the same part. So let me say what it is. 6 red plus turquoise and red 3 times, 6 turquoise, white and turquoise 3 times, then 6 whites, golden and white 2 times, 3 golden and 3 red beads. Okay? And after that it is the same thing that I do all the time. I skip these red beads and I go in this direction through as many beads as I can without skipping any beads if possible. If it's not uh, tightened very well, just pull it from here and like that. Okay, then I will go back through the rest of the beads okay like this and I'm going here in this red one and now I will take 9 red beads and the familiar sequence, so with 3 beads more than in the previous row. Okay, I'll do this and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have 9 beads plus the familiar sequence. See what's coming up next. In this row guys, I have 12 red beads plus the familiar sequence and then I will continue adding with 3 beads more in every fringe. So the formula is 15 beads plus the familiar sequence, 18 beads plus the familiar sequence, 21 beads plus the familiar sequence, 24 beads plus the familiar sequence, 27 beads plus the familiar sequence, and 30 beads plus the familiar sequence. Okay, I'll do this off camera. You just follow the formula and meet me at this end. Okay, guys, and as I continued adding bead, according to this formula, where I start from 3 red beads plus the familiar sequence and reach 30 red beads plus the familiar sequence. Now I'm ready, almost ready with my work and the only thing I need to do is to make a knot and cut this thread. Okay, so I'm making here a loop and I'm going twice through the loop I've made, pulling and I'm going through the next two red beads and after that I cut this tail thread. Okay guys and now my Christmas fringe earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. Also if you like, share and comment, you give me signals that you like, like my work and you want me to continue. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the Christmas playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching.